the channel so it is pouring rain and I brought Ruby out because she's not dirty but she's been collecting a little bit of dust so I let I'm letting the rain pour on her so she could basically get a bath and then I'll just wipe her down but finally I've decided whether or not I'm going wide body and I decided that I'm not gonna go wide body anymore and it's mostly just due because of the fact that um it's going to end up being a lot more money than what I can afford to spend right now. So we're going to be using these 19s by 11, um, negative 10 in the rear. And we're going to be relipping the wide wheels, the 19s by 13, negative uh, 15. And we're gonna, just going to relip them and make them fit the front. So that's what you guys are going to be seeing in today's video. We're going to take apart the three-piece wheels. And we're going to be go, go to head out to VR wheels in L.A., and we're gonna pick up new uh, front lips and one new rear barrel because the barrel's cracked. So with that out of the way, yes, I'm gonna be relipping these 19 by 13 wheels. Big boys, 305 stretch tire. All right, so load it up. Let's go take the tire off. Okay. Currently on the way, we're gonna get this tire removed at the tire shop right at the gas station where I live. So hopefully they can get it off no problems. So here we have it. We're here at the 76 gas station. That's in my town. They do pretty good with the wheels. So they took the other wheel off, so I'm gonna have them take this wheel off as well. So I already took measurements, etc. etc. I mounted up the wheel already. So I marked it. I, I mounted up the wheel, aired out the car. This is where the fender would have hit. So this is where I took the measurement off from. So we're trying to get that fender to lip fitment. And from there, turn around this way. We'd end up with a five inch lip. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with a five inch lip. And since this barrel has a crack, I was gonna get it fixed, try to get it welded, but instead we're gonna end up buying a new barrel, rear barrel. So this is a six inch barrel right here. Is it? Yeah. Six inch barrel. And we're gonna go with a five inch lip. These are six inch lips. We're gonna have six inch lips in the rear and we're going to go with five inch lips in the front try and disassemble the wheels myself save myself uh i think 60 bucks to disassemble them whatever they're charging they're trying to charge me so it's just taking off the bolts all of them and cutting the silicone just give it a quick tap with the hammer and it should break apart so we'll find out how this goes All right, so loosened up all the 12s, but now I gotta loosen up all the 10s. So these are all 12s. The so one that are part of the spoke, there's those are 12s. The rest are 10. So just taking all the 12s out, and then for the 10s, they have the key on the other side, which is an M8. It's a 12 point star shape one. If I could focus it, there you go. Yeah, so 12 point star shape one. Luckily, I was able to find one. Nobody else had one. So that's going to be for the other ones, for the ones, um, the 10 millimeter ones right here. Yeah, so these. 
I'm finally able to get one of them out. So we got that one that's out. And we have 19 more to go. Great. But I wanted three piece wheels, right? All right, so we finally got the face off, all the bolts are off, past the blade, separated the lip and the barrel. So there we have it. Taking these out makes cleaning the lips a lot better and easier too. So I am gonna end up saving these just in case for any reason in the future. I do wanna go wide body. I'll have them right there. The rear barrels are six inch. I'm gonna end up saving these. So if I get five inch lips, I'm gonna end up with a 19 by 11 plus nine. I think that's the offset they calculated. So that's most likely the offset I'm gonna end up with. A 19 by 11 plus nine. Or if I wanna get uh, both two new rear barrels, if I spent the extra 100, 30 bucks I think it was to change this one as well then yeah it would be a 19 by 10 negative um negative something I forgot what it was so I don't know I'll decide once I'm there once I look at the measurements the tire sizes and all that but for now let's go do the other one all right here we have the second wheel this is the one with the cracked barrel yeah and it's a pretty big crack So we are done here. Technically, this one I don't even have to cut in the middle to separate them. Since, you know, I'm not even gonna end up using this rear barrel anymore, and nor the lip, so I'm just gonna leave this one as is. So, all I need to take is the faces and that rear barrel. So right now, we're on our way to LA. We got Marshall here. Yep. We got... We got one of the wheels back here with the rear barrel on the lip and the face. And let's see if we can get ourselves a set of five inch slips for the front and one new rear barrel. Oh, God damn. We're in wheel heaven right here, guys. <laughs> damn. We have a huge assortment of wheels everywhere. Then look at these GMRs. These are nice. Got those BBSs over there. They're checking right now in the back to see if they do have them. US standards, they have a huge assortment as you guys can see. I'm not sure if I'm allowed back there, but they make everything in-house. In this is where you guys get like your shipment of wheels and yeah, because we just got a shipment in, so we're trying to unload everything. Damn. This is supposed to be like where all the mock-up wheels are ready to get sailed, pretty much. Damn. The wheels. Yeah. But after a while, it's just the same. <laughs> These SSRs already got sold? Yeah, we're just waiting on... Yeah, I pick them up. Nice. Mm -hmm. We got all the different phases here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, modular uh, phases. What is it? Yeah, all right. All right. And here we have it. Here we have the new. Barrels and lips. Here's a rear barrel. Oh, look at this. You want to say? Man, here we have the new lips in its raw finish. So these are going to be the new ones that we're going to be using. 19 by 5. Oh, yes, I want to get three. New barrel, good to go. So, <clears throat> one of these barrels, I'm not sure if this is the crack one. Oh no, this is the this is the good one. 
The crack one is up on my stand over there. <laughs> so there we have it. Rear wheels are gonna be relit, ready to go. Super stoked, got my lips, got my barrel. So excited, so we're gonna be rebuilding this myself at home, but at least now I have the proper size to fit the front and no more wide wheels. So here's the old seven inch lip. And as you guys can see, definitely big difference. But now the only problem is we have to polish these out, which we will be doing in the next video and reassembling the wheels. Basically how it's gonna look like, the face still needs to sit like an inch more down. So that's why it looks further up. I'm gonna get Mars right here. We just installed his JDM tail lights. So if you guys wanna take a look at that video, go check it out. The old barrel, those are still can, um, they still have the silicone connecting these two. So this is the old setup. This I don't have to take apart because this was the one with the crack. The one with the big crack. That's why we got we got a replacement rear barrel for that. And now we just gotta reassemble these. But before that, we gotta polish this one and that one, make it as shiny as we can, match that. And then we can start reassembling. So that will be in the next video. So I am gonna end today's video right here again. We got a lot of work to do with these so i'm gonna try to get them done by the end of this week so hopefully whenever this video is uploaded by then um when you guys see this video i'll probably be almost done or done at uh completely with tires mounted on the new wheels and fully reassemble it and everything so um yeah so stay tuned for that video again thank you guys for always supporting the channel don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video